So tell us, how has reading changed your life after reading so many books? I would say all aspects of my life have gone better because I realized like, like what parts of my life do I want to work on? And it's like all of it. So like uh, when it came to like fitness and the gym, like I used to be a lot skinnier. So I started reading fitness and diet books on like how to put up muscle. I used to be very like antisocial. So I started reading books like uh, how to win friends and influence people and books about small talk to become like a better speaker and communicator. I read a lot of books about like writing to, you know, become a better writer. And that really helped grow like my audience on uh, Twitter. And it's like basically anything I want to learn about or even like dating and relationships. Like, you know, uh, I was single, pretty bad at dating. So I started reading dating books. Then I got into a relationship and I started reading a lot of relationship books. Mm -hmm. Uh, Now I've been with my girlfriend for three years. So I'm reading like, uh, you know, books about marriage and things like that. So like anything you want to learn in life, there's a book out there. And uh, that's what I recommend doing. That's amazing. But do do you find yourself like, teaching the people around you everything that you've learned? Because you must be like a wealth of knowledge. <laughs> yes. So I think that's why I enjoy creating content so much because I'll read this amazing book and I'm like, guys, I got to tell you about this book. I got to tell you about the lessons I learned. You know, I talk to my girlfriend every day. So I always tell like, oh, here's this book I le- read and here's what I learned. Uh, so she's always like, you know, the number one like student. Aww. <laughs> it's like you're reading those relationship books and like spreading it to her. Does, yeah. does she accept it with open arms or is she sometimes like you're reading too much? <laughs> <laughs> she, she's definitely very open. And like okay. a lot of times uh, we might read the same book. So okay, uh, great. we just read this book, uh, Nonviolent Communication uh, Together. Uh, and that's, that's a really great book about how to become like a better communicator and like express yourself without being like offensive or like, yeah, getting the other person to shut down. That was a really great read. Um, so great tip for couples, like read books together and you have like your own little mini book club. Are there any type of books that you tend to gravitate towards? Definitely the nonfiction, self-improvement. Uh, I used to be very big in the productivity book space. Um, but I think once you read, you know, 20 or 30 books on one topic, you're like, okay, I, I, feel, I feel like I got it, like kind of, I got this part down of yeah. my life. It's like, now let me work on like reading more like finance or investing books to, you know, improve my life in that area. Mm-hmm. So I, I think every few months, like the big topic I'm trying to learn like changes. Mm, yeah. You're kind of guided by what you need in that moment, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> 